Howdy peeps and welcome back to the channel for the second in the series I suppose of aquarium videos and today is ooh, what uh, probably a week, week and a half since I filmed the first one and there's been quite a few changes going on so I thought I'd talk about those uh, Firstly, you might be able to see there are a few more fish in there. I added three more neons, and you can't probably see them at the moment, but they're hiding right down here. Are uh, five little panda cories, and uh, everyone seems happy, feeding well, zooming about usually. I think this is the first time I've seen the cories not actually going nuts. Um, why did I choose those fish? Well, the neons just to bulk out the shoal to bring it up to the eight, um, just so they're more comfortable as a larger unit, as it were. And it was a choice between either a bristlenose pleco or some kind of corridora, cori. And the bristlenose, while very cool, would probably spend most of its time hiding. Wouldn't get to see it, no. So I went with the quarries because they're out and about and usually really quite active and zooming about like little nutters. And I also be able to see there's some floating plants in the top now. They're uh, I call them floating ferns. I think they're a salvinia, um, more of a pond plant really than an aquarium plant but we shall see how they go they can't do any harm unless well, what happens is they die off and they've been in a few days now and they seem to be doing well um the water uh, hang on need a quick swig it always happens whenever i hit record i either need a drink or a burp then I have the drink and then I usually need to burp anyway so um, I waited till the water parameters had stabilized with zero ammonia zero nitrites and I think it was around about 10 nitrates parts per million that is um, I added probably a little too much with the five quarries and the three neons it's over doubled what was in there but they've been in there little, uh, two, two and a half days now. And this morning's water tests and yesterday's water tests came back with zero and zero on the ammonia and nitrites. Um, nitrates have bumped up a little, but they're at 20, I think, so that's nothing to worry about there. As I said, everything seems healthy and happy. Uh, apart from the one plant at the back of that side that appears to be dying back a little. But it is sprouting out new leaves from the bottom, so fingers crossed that's okay. This uh, java fern up the back here has got a couple of uh, baby plantlets it's developing on its leaves, so that's obviously, obviously doing quite well. Now I do appreciate that everything is moving forward a fair bit faster than is normally recommended or normally happens for an aquarium. I don't know. Um, I'm just doing what seems right to me. Can, you know, whenever I change water I'm adding more of the quick start and when that runs out, which won't be long, I've got myself a bottle of Seachem Prime. Not because it detoxifies the ammonia, the nitrate, and the nitrate, purely because it removes the chlorine and chloramine from the water. Um, as I say, I've got it, got it running nicely. There's no ammonia and no nitrate anyway, so yeah, it's just what I could get hold of. Other things I've changed, you may be out of here, but there is now an air stone tucked away in the back. Um, just to add a bit more oxygen to the water, just in case they needed it. Um, 
and also down the back is a katapa leaf or Indian almond leaf. Hope is with that, obviously you'll get some tannins in the water which I prefer the look of, looks more natural to me. Um, I mean not that I'm a huge, well I'm a fairly huge nature nerd but from the waterways I know, ugh, excuse me, especially the stiller ones they tend not to be crystal clear and it just looks nicer to me that's just the way it is and uh, so with the uh, tannins as well with the antifungal properties it's all good for the fish and the plants <coughs> right. uh, not really a huge amount else to talk about there's not a huge lot change I've done two water changes now um, around about 20 percent um, not really sure why the numbers haven't been too bad and it hasn't affected anything when I have done it really um, it's more just to keep things clean and keep gunk out which the quarry seems to be doing quite a good job of now I've tried a couple of new foods as well lately so I did start out with what everyone uses, no, well not everyone but you know, first aquarium don't really know much better, just bog standard tropical fish flakes, other manufacturers and brands are available um, and I have to say they go down quite well, the fish do seem to like them, I'll just give them a little pinch, when I say little pinch I mean a little. We just pop a little bit in and pretty much within a few seconds they realise there's food in there and start chasing after it but it's when I add some of these these are the aquarium sinking pellets I really do like these I had to say <coughs> I'm going to try and put them a bit further back from the glass today. Yesterday they all ended up right at the front. There we go. And that's normally what gets the quarries going. I mean, you can see the neons are going crazy. Oh, one of the quarries has woken up. Two of them have. Three. Oh, but yeah. Um, so as you can see, I mean, that's the amount I'm feeding probably two, maybe three times a day. Um, any leftovers tend to get cleared up fairly rapidly by the quarries. As you can see the little clean up crew coming into action there. Very cute and comical down here. And yeah. So yeah I've got the, <coughs> what, the Aquarian Advanced Nutri whatever. They're just a standard sinking pellet, and I also got some got bought got combination of the pair, some algae wafers as well, which also seem to go down well. They take a little while to break down, and as the quarries nibble away out and bits float off, the tetra uh, neons are hovering around, ready to hoover up any leftovers. You see the pellets are getting devoured, they're pretty much all gone already. Um, just a few little bits of floating flake left. So, I hope that has at least proved slightly... Ah, one more thing. <clears throat> I am getting some hair algae starting to develop, mainly on the wood higher up. There was some lower down, but I think the quarries have cleared it all off, so... I'll get my, uh, <coughs> excuse me, get my algae pad out later and clear some of that off. Just to, uh, although it does appear to be producing quite a bit of oxygen, so I might leave it. It's not exactly ugly and it's natural, so we might leave it there. We shall see how we go. So hopefully that's proved a. Uh, interesting or 
informative or partially amusing watching the fishies update um, so enjoy your hobby whether you be a modeler or an aquarist or both no reason why not to be just wash your hands before you come do anything with the fish when you've been building models you never know what nastiness you got on your fingers so have fun enjoy yourself peace out rock on Bye-bye.